Hello everyone, I'm Slane Knightley, and today I'm going to walk you through how to enable cheats and console commands for XCOM 2. In addition, I'm going to walk you through some of the more useful console commands. Among these will be how to give yourself more resources of each of the different types, how to enable god mode during combat, how to increase your movement so you have unlimited movement for your soldiers during combat, how to increase the number of levels your soldiers can get, giving them free levels, and how to reduce the avatar progress, the doom counter clock, during the game. But before we get to that, you first need to enable the console in XCOM 2 in order to enter the cheats. Fortunately, it's a very simple process to enable this through Steam. So let's cover that now. So you're going to want to open Steam and then right click on the game of XCOM 2 and click on Properties. And then once you do that, it'll open up the general screen there. Next, you're going to want to click on Set Launch Options, and you're going to put dash allow console, or hyphen allow console, no space. This is what will allow you to bring up the console in-game. And once you're done, just click OK, close this dialog box, and then you can launch the game. I'm going to start with telling you how to increase your resources. So as you can see, I have 426 supplies at the moment. To open the console, you're going to want to hit the tilde key and that will open the console. Once the console is open, you just start typing in what command you want here in the list. Thankfully, XCOM 2 has an autocomplete feature that shows you the console command as you're typing. So if you want it to autocomplete the text for you, you simply hit tab. In this case, I'm going to type give resource, space, supplies, and then the number I want. And then hit the tilde key again to close the window. Now if you look at my supply counter, you'll see it looks exactly the same. It hasn't changed to be 826. However, the console command did work, it just didn't refresh and update the text. If I refresh the screen here, you'll see now I now have 826 resources. So let's go through a few more of the resource commands. So once again, you hit the tilde key to open the console, and then type in give resource, and in this case, I will use Illyrium dust, and again, type in the number. And if you're using a console command that's similar to the previous one, you can hit the up key, the up arrow key, and it will copy the previous console command that you entered. So in this case, I'll add alien alloy. I can also add intel using the same exact command. So that's how you can add additional resources to your game. You will need to know the name of the resource you're trying to get more of, and the way it's described in the console command. Unfortunately, it won't tell you if you try to add a resource that is invalid. As you can see, everything looks exactly the same as if I had added a resource successfully. Instead, the console only tells you if you give a command that is invalid, such as if you type something besides give resource. So in the description below this video, I will include a number of the different console commands that you can use, as well as the different resource names. Now I'm going to go over a few of the console commands that you can use during the tactical combat part of the game. So once again, you open it, the console with the tilde key, and then type in which command you want. If you use power up, this basically turns on god mode, where your characters won't take any damage, and your characters also don't have to reload their weapons. Another fancy command that you can use is whose turn is it anyway? And this will give your characters unlimited movement. It won't update until after your current turn ends though. Move, move, move. So let's see how an example of that works. So as you can see, I can keep on moving over and over again. They got it, right? I'm getting multiple turns, so I can just keep on shooting as often as I wanted. But in this case, let's go ahead and let them shoot at us. Okay.
And if you don't know, you can hit the backspace to end your current turn. Backspace key. As you see, he just fired a bunch of rockets and they did exactly no damage to any of my troops. Now you can still take status effects, such as being stunned here, as you can see, even in god mode. So that is something to keep in mind. So that covers the important commands for the tactical combat part of the game. Once again, it is power up with no spaces in order to enable god mode and not having to reload. And whose turn is it anyway for unlimited movement? Another useful console command is to level up all of your soldiers. So if you look at my armory and see view soldiers, you'll see none of them have a level up. If I expand the console and say level up barracks, and then the number is how many levels I want each of my soldiers to level up. And then if I, again, back out and refresh the list, you'll see all of my soldiers now have two levels worth of upgrades that they can get. So as you can imagine, that's an extremely useful console command. The final console command I'm going to go over here today is removing progress from the avatar project. So once again, open up your console. And if you type in remove fortress doom, and then how many levels you want to drop it. In this case, I will do two. And right now it's still showing four, but you'll see it's going to drop here by two. So if you find your doom counter getting too high, you can always use this console command in order to remove it, which can be extremely helpful. That's all I'm going to go over here in this video. Hopefully you found this all useful. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please consider liking the video or subscribing. Either way, I appreciate you spending your time with me. Thanks for watching.